Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to work a little bit more on my retro journals. And what I'm going to do today is go through book pages and kind of select which book pages will go into the journals. Now it's a little bit complicated to do this right now because I'm not sure of the cover yet. I'm thinking about using patterns, but I'm getting a little bit doubtful about that because I can't decide on what patterns. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure what size the journals will be. I feel like I should just go ahead and pick the patterns and just pick it because this feels like, like writer's block. <laughs> Um, and I don't want to commit to something that might not turn out good, but I'm just going to kind of leave that on the back burner and go through pages and kind of let the journals go in what direction they want. And I have this stack here first. These are pages from books that I used in my last set of retro journals. And I don't want to have leftover things laying around. So I'm going to try to use these, a lot of these, if not all of them, in these journals here. And if I'm not in love with the page, I'm just going to use them as one of the background pages. And I mentioned in another video that I will be sewing pages onto other pages so that it's kind of replicating the center of the signature when it's not the center of the signature. So that's what these pages will be good for if I'm not like in love with them. So there's this one. This is a really good piece or page. I love cakes that look like this because they look like they're from the 50s or something. So I'm going to set this aside because I have an idea for this. And this is another one that I really like. So I'm going to set this aside. I started working on something. This is a project that will be coming up. Now this would be a good page to go in a journal. So let's just set that aside. And I don't even know how many journals I'm making. I'm thinking my last set of journals was five botanical journals, so maybe I'll make six this time. And I think I'm going to try to make these all go into the journals. I actually really liked this book cookbook. So I'm just going to set these together so that when I start assembling the pages I can just grab these. So that's going to be some pages. I found this leftover and that's going to go in a drawer where all these things for this project are going. This is leftover as well, and I love this book. I love these pages, so they're going to go in it. Oh, this is from a National Geographic magazine. All right, now I pulled some books. These books are my absolute favorite books. It's a really thick book. And I would love to use this cover for something since the spine is already thick and I would just have to repair it and reinforce it. Um, so I kind of think I should take it out of here so I can keep this somewhere where it's not too bad. The spine is ripping right there. But I think at this point it's going to still be easy to fix. So I'm going to put this aside. But these popular mechanic books are my favorite for retro journals. A 
copyright 1961 and I love these because of these pops of color they have in here and some of the drawings are really cool and they're like a really good thick page Like this is a really cool picture right here. I love these domestic pictures. They made housework look so fun. So far, I don't see any images that are like focal point images. This one could be. This will make a cool card. This is another really cool one. That's a good one. This is the children's section, I guess. I feel like I should save it for a children's junk journal. I really like that font. That could be cool. I really like this picture right here. So I'm just kind of looking through to see what my options are. This is a really cool picture. This is a really cool one. I love her dress. All right. See what's at the back. I hope I'm not flipping too quickly. Here are some Christmas things. Secrets of attractive packages. <laughs> a gardening section. That's a cool picture. I think I'm going to set this book aside because I'm going to have to think about how many I'll need from these and it's a little bit hard when I don't know how many journals I'm going to make yet. Now this one is called The Complete Book of Sewing. At some point, they were selling for a dollar thirty-five. This is from nineteen forty-three, so that is pretty old. There are some really cool images in here, and I love the colors. I think I just need to. Find the center of a signature and just, okay, this is so pretty. I feel a little stingy about using this book. I guess now you guys can kind of see my process. I definitely do think that picking the pages 
is one of the hardest parts. Okay, where's the middle? Maybe this is a sign that I should not cut into this book right now. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next book. This one is similar to the Popular Mechanics book. This is, hmm, I don't see a copyright date. I found this at the Goodwill Outlet. All right, I am just going to cut into this signature. What is this? So let's just go ahead and cut into this. Let me just pull out a few pages. Let's say six pages. Three, four. This is 1941, it says here. Yeah, this is from 1941. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's leave that there for now. I have this book. This is copyright 1974. And this one doesn't have as many pretty pictures. So of course it's going to be a little bit easier to tear into and not that much of a decision making process, but the pages are really thick and sturdy. I think this is glued into here. I guess I'm not going to be able to do anything with this one right now. It looks like I'm not going to be able to do anything in this video. <laughs> Let's go to this. I think this will be fun to look through. This is a Golden Hands. I think it's the name of the magazine. Yeah, the name of the magazine. And it's one of those things where this folder is holding all the volumes 
of this magazine. So there's a bunch of volumes of magazines in here. And I guess they're knitting magazines. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take one out. Let's see what year this is. And I found this at the Goodwill outlet as well. So this whole thing was just 75 cents. That's pretty cool. Soul slipper socks. That's cool. I always thought these kinds of pants were really neat. All right, let me see. And I have maybe five more of these. Like five more binders. Let me just take this out if I can figure out how to do it. Is it just slid in there? That seems not user friendly if you just slide it in. But maybe if you slide it in order, it's not that hard to get out. I don't know. on this and these are very big pages But I think I'll probably end up cutting them in half and using them like this. But I think they'll be good pages. And I'll have to decide what to do with this. The front image. All right, so let me put that aside. That's a cool cover. That's cool too. That's a cool picture. Put this aside and
Let's just kind of look through this one. Copyright 1972. These are pretty cool. Alright, now let me just go through and see what I have here. So let's say one of these for each journal. I was going to make it more era specific, but I don't feel like I have enough of a variety of books and pages. So I'm just going to be making it more generic. Like all the journals are gonna have like random pages. I think there's the perfect amount here. All right, so one lucky journal will get the cover and that's fine. And then let me divide this up. So now that I kind of have that, I'm just going to make it a little bit more fair by maybe putting the prettier pages with the ones that don't have anything cool already. This is a pretty cool page, so let me put it with this one, since that one's a little bit boring. This just really reminds me of Thanksgiving. I thought this was interesting. It's a, a fruit cup pie, and that looks like the canned fruit which is interesting for it to be in a pie. Okay, this one is kind of boring, so it's going to go with that set. Sorry if you can't see it because it's off camera. That's a boring one, so it'll go with this one because that one got a cool page. And then let's put this one here. And this is a pretty cool one right here with this birthday cake. I'll put it here and then, whoa, that's cool. Let's give that to this one. Let me see how many pages are left. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, then I am going to put this back in here. And what I have done is for my botanical journals, I didn't necessarily put the same things in each one and I kind of like doing it that way because then these journals will be more unique in a way um, right now I am trying to make it more fair but oh that's a cool cake I think that they're cooler because they were made at home. But um, yeah, that way the journals are a little more unique in a way. 
and I don't have to work so hard. To, I can be a little bit more creative, I guess. All right, so this is going to start my pages, which I've been a little bit slow going in making the choices for these journals because I kind of don't know where the direction they're going to go. But I really feel like that's just part of being creative. And I'm just going to let that be for now. And I think I'm going to continue focusing on making ephemera. I have a project coming up like videos um, for ephemera that's going to go in these journals and for that I, I do know where where that's going to go so I'm just going to focus on making a bunch of ephemera and let let everything kind of marinate in my mind but this is going to be the start of the pages for these journals and let me give you a sneak peek of what I was I was working on this earlier today I made a bunch of these little circles it's just scrap cardstock with leftover papers that I like and I feel like these are kind of retro papers. I can't tell if this is focusing, but um, these are gonna be part of the next project. And I think they're so fun. It took me maybe like 45 minutes to glue all these. And they're just really cool. <laughs> But this is what's going to come next, I think. Well, I shouldn't say that because I always upload out of order. But um, I hope this video wasn't too boring. I was kind of meandering through trying to figure out what I'm going to do. But thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched until the end. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload. And thank you so much for watching today. And I will talk to you later. Bye everyone.